Hey guys, welcome to this video on recurrence relation. So here I'm going to show you guys a sort of cheat sheet for common recurrences. So I'm going to put our recurrence relation here, and then I'm going to put the time complexity of the recurrence relation here, and then um, try to give an example of that recurrence relation uh, through an algorithm that you may have heard of before, or maybe not. So let's go ahead and get started here. First up, we have a base case. So we have t of 1 is equal to a, where a is some non-negative integer value. It's, an, it's a constant, and then we'll have a recurrence relation that says something like t of n is equal to uh, t of n minus 1 plus b, where b is some non-negative integer value, and that means that t of n belongs to big O of n. And an example of this uh, would be the linear search algorithm. So I'm going to put linear search here. And next up, let's look at another uh, recurrence relation uh, like t of 1 is equal to a again a is a non-negative integer value is some constant variable and then we have t of n is equal to uh, maybe t of n minus 1 plus b times n then the time complexity for our t here would be uh, big O of n squared and a good example of this would be the quick sort algorithm. All right, so let's take another look at a, another recurrence. I'm going to write this a little closer up here just so we don't run out of room. So t of 1 is equal to a, and then we have our recurrence relation that says t of n will be equal to uh, t of n divided by 2 plus b, where of course a and b again are uh, constants, non-negative integers. Uh, non-negative integer values and um, the time complexity here will be big O of n times log n and a good example of this would be the binary search algorithm okay all right so let's look at another recurrence relation so we have our base case, t of 1 is equal to a, and then we have our recursive case, t of n is equal to, we'll say, t of n divided by 2 plus b times n. Then our time complexity for this recurrence relation is big O of n. And I actually can't think of an, of an example algorithm for this uh, recurrence relation. So let's go ahead and look at another one. Maybe t of 1 is equal to a and then t of n is equal to um, let's say c times t of n divided by c plus b. And c is some constant um, and some non-negative constant then t of n belongs to big O of n. And I can't think of a popular algorithm right now at the top of my head that has this recurrence relation. So let's just move on here. Let's say we have t of 1 is equal to a for our base case. And then we have, uh, for our recursive case, t of n is equal to c times t of n divided by c plus b times n then the time complexity for t of n is uh, big o of n times log n and a popular example for this would be the um, merge sort algorithm Okay, and then we're going to do one more. Let's say we have a base case, uh, t of 1 is equal to a, and we have another base case, t of uh, 2 is equal to b, and then we have our recursive case, t of n is equal to, um, let's say t of n minus 1 plus t of n minus 2 plus d, where d is some non-negative 
integer value, then the complexity here is t of n belongs to big O of 2 to the power of n. And a popular uh, algorithm here would be the uh, Fibonacci the Fibonacci uh, algorithm. And I'm hoping I'm spelling that correctly. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have, likes, comments. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll be sure to put uh, some more video links that I have on recurrence relation in the description below. So be sure to check those out. And as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.